COP27 is the latest instalment in the series of annual negotiations that are known as conferences of the parties. These are conducted within the framework of the United Nations Convention on Climate Change and the process by which the nations of the world, almost who, all of whom are signatories to the Framework Convention, come together to negotiate reductions in greenhouse gas emissions. As the meeting is in Africa, it's widely expected that African issues will be front and centre um, of COP this year. Africa, of course, historically has made an almost negligible contribution towards global emissions and yet stands to lose a great lot from the impact of climate change extremes. So issues around climate finance and what's known as loss and damage, that's to say the impacts of extremes that can't be accounted for by other mechanisms, unavoidable extremes. These are topics that are likely to be front and centre um, at the COP. The impact on, on all of us is potentially very severe and even if we don't experience floods or droughts ourselves, sooner or later we will probably end up paying in the price of, for example, food or energy or any of the other um, aspects of our, of, our, of our living expenses. So one of the main outcomes of the Glasgow COP26 was something called the Glasgow Climate Pact. Uh, one of the requirements of that climate pact required countries to revise or update their nationally determined contributions, that's to say their plans for decarbonising um, their economies. Very few countries have actually submitted new or updated NDCs and of those who have, very few <laughs> have actually managed to, um, to get in line with the Paris 1.5C um, target. This is a disappointing in itself, but it, it, it's also disappointing because two of the countries that, that failed to submit NDCs that were consistent with Paris were the COP26 host, the UK, and the COP27 host, Egypt. The political environment around COP27 is a lot more challenging potentially than the one around COP26. There's a lot of tension between US, China, uh, Russia, India, um, and the political um, environment um, doesn't seem very conducive to cooperation. Nevertheless, this is one of those occasions where almost all countries of the world do come together. And with regards to that, we hope that they can take um, some inspiration. We hope that they can um, move towards cooperation because there is a world at stake.